most of you on this channel probably don't know what a longshoreman makes and really have nothing to put it next to when they say 70% raise. This guy is going to discuss, whether we don't know if it's true or not, dock workers are more than welcome to comment at the bottom, how much some of these crane operators stand to make if this strike goes through and they get what they want. This is going to be illuminating. It's going to open your eyes to how much these guys are really making down here. Stay tuned. Let's get Thank serious. You. Chris Spear is the president and CEO of the American Trucking Association. He joins me now. Chris, do you support the strike? It's going to hurt you guys in the trucking business. Absolutely. And we're sitting idle uh, and we're talking 95 percent of the trucking companies that make up our membership serving the ports are 10 trucks or less. These are independent contractors, owner operators. You know, they're not going to be able to shift their business. This is, you know, deeply impactful on trucking and any other mode in the supply chain that's now going to have to spend days catching up as a result. The longer this strike goes, the more it's going to be, you know, felt. So uh, we're very concerned about the impact it has, not just on trucking, but the economy. Uh, you're looking at inflation driven by less choice and higher prices at the shelves. And that's really not what this country needs at this time. If the strike was settled on the union's terms, as I understand it, some of the workers could make like a crane operator could make a half million dollars a year. A half million dollars a year. I want you to, as a truck driver, to look at what you're making what you're scraping to pull in. These companies are also uh, um, notorious for not hiring people to try to sign in. It's all a no family type of situation. You got to have a family member in to get in type situation. That's how usually these things work. So that means that they're, they're up there making close to 200, if not over $200,000 a year right now, as we speak, no overhead, no, they're not, they're not, they're not owner operators with businesses. They're getting that off the cuff. 70% raise, as he's saying, will get them to 500,000. So us as truckers, are we supposed to be for them or against them is which I want you to comment at the bottom of this video. Keep listening. Is that accurate? That is accurate. And same on the West coast. Uh, look, this is not a poor person's union. This is one of the best pay packages out there. And so to suggest that these folks are hurting uh, as if they're working fast food. That is not the case. You do have six-figure jobs throughout this union. You've got crane operators making more than 300000 so a 77% pay increase was just... He's saying they're make, some of them making more than 300000 as it is now. Of course, that's not all dock workers. I just, I just I want to keep that in mind here. $300,000 a year. Home every day or night. Keep following me. What they're asking for puts them well over half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. If you're someone down in North Carolina digging yeah. your community out of the mud, I don't think you care too much about someone whining for 500000 They'll be really angry, those folks in North Carolina around Asheville, if they find that the supplies they need to recover are being held up by some very rich and striking dock workers. Last word to you, Chris. Well, I think that's right. And, you know, this is a very unique 600-mile uh, swath of devastation that we're trying to support with uh, food, uh, medication, and water. Uh, unlike other areas like Florida, where we're there in hours after the disaster, we can't even penetrate the circumference of this damage because of, of the significance to the roads, the flooding, the mud. So a lot of this is being flown in. So it's complicating our ability to help these communities. Having 36 ports strike this is not a good time for this to happen. And it makes you wonder, where is this president and vice president putting their priorities? It is in the pocket of big labor bosses or in real hardworking people and communities that need help now. So the you know, trucking industry stands ready to, to help real America. We hope this administration will do the same. Chris. Exactly. Where does that put y'all? Where does it put you? We are struggling because we don't have a union most of the time, not for the greater OCR people. We're struggling to see $60,000 a year. 
Some make a hundred. I know some people are at their hazmat jobs, happy they're seeing one twenty. There's a person on the dock getting three hundred, and they're striking. So if they're striking at three hundred, should we have been striking? But well, then we, how are we going to strike? We don't have no union, but. You know, it makes you think like that. I'm not saying what should be or what shouldn't be. I'm just saying, does it put you in that mind frame? Like if 300 isn't good enough for them and they decided to strike, what the hell are we doing? Are they just flat out wrong and greedy? I'm trying not to take a stance here. I want you to comment at the bottom and tell me, are they just flat out wrong and greedy and we're not? What does it mean? What does it all mean? Are, are we supposed to be picking sides right now? I leave it to you to comment at the bottom and let me know. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked is at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.